Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Samsung refrigerator door reed switch. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get out AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new door reed switch. The door reed switch tells the refrigerator when the doors are open or closed, the manager should be changing it out so if it's failed and the lights aren't coming on, or on the freezer door the dispenser's not working, or you're getting a warning saying the doors are open when they're really closed. In order to change part, we have to go up top. Now that we're up top, we have access to the door reed switch. There's one on each end, and it actually says switch on the cover so you know where they are. Whether you have the two-piece end caps or the one that goes all the way across, we're going to have to remove the cover to get to it. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws. If the screw doesn't come out, you can just lift up on the cover and pop it out. Then we're going to carefully lift it up. There is a couple wiring harnesses underneath there, so you don't just want to pull it off. Then we can turn it around. We can see the door reed switch right here. So we're just going to unplug the wiring harness. Or just press on the locking tab and release it. If you have to grab the small flathead screwdriver, you can. Then we can remove it from the cover. Just held in place by locking tab on each end. Once you have it released, you can pull it out of the cover. Here's the old door reed switch next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get out appliancepartspros.com. To put the new door reed switch in, there's a piece of foam on the back of it that you want to put against the ribs right there. Just have to snap it into place. Once you have it snapped in, we can connect the wiring harness. Just want to make sure it snaps together so you get a good connection. Then we can flip the cover over and line it up. Then we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screw that holds it down. Once you have the screw tightened down, you can plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.